Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about efficiency of non-matched filters. So, what is the necessity to consider efficiency of non-matched filters? So, what do you mean by matched filter? From the definition of matched filter, so we can define a matched filter as matched filter. Matched filter is nothing but it is a network. Matched filter is a network whose frequency response whose frequency response improves the improves the peak signal to mean noise ratio mean noise ratio so what do you mean by matched filter matched filter we are taking a network in the receiver that improves the peak signal to mean noise ratio that means the noise component that has been added in the signal will be eliminated after passing through the matched filter it selects only the required frequency the required or selected frequency band how it is selecting i told you the frequency response nothing but the band of frequencies that allows through the receiver is nothing but bandwidth that bandwidth is being selected by the if amplifier if we are exactly selecting the bandwidth of if amplifier which is equal to the inversely proportional to the pulse width of the transmitted signal then such type of filters are known as matched filter see what i am saying is why it is matched filter what is the meaning of matched filter matched filter so it is a filter which exactly matches the required component required thing it is a filter which exactly gives the required thing and eliminates all other unwanted signals okay uh, if amplifier in the receiver if amplifier what is the purpose of if amplifier the bandwidth of if amplifier is equal to the bandwidth of entire receiver okay bandwidth of the receiver is nothing but bandwidth of IF amplifier. Why? Because it is used to select the required frequency components and eliminates all other frequencies. So it has that much influence on that. Now we are selecting the bandwidth. The bandwidth of this. If the bandwidth of IF amplifier is chosen exactly inverse to the transmitted transmitted pulse width exactly inverse to the transmitted pulse width then the IF amplifier is known as matched filter hope you understand what do you mean by matched filter that means the bandwidth is inversely proportional to 1 by tau you can call it as tau okay or else bandwidth into tau should be 1 bandwidth into tau should be equal to 1 so in terms of frequency we are calling it as bandwidth this is the bandwidth of matched filter frequency response and in terms of time period you are saying this is the on period and this is the off period this is the tau okay this is the bandwidth okay this is the transmitted signal and this is the receiver bandwidth like h of f you are if you are uh, having a frequency response like h of f okay so if we are choosing the bandwidth of the filter in such a way that it is the exactly reciprocal to the transmitted pulse width then that type of filter is known as matched filter but how long such type of matched filters available in nature so we cannot guarantee that always we will be having a matched filter in nature and that we can use directly in our receiver suppose here we are studying this concept if matched filters are not available what are the other filters that helping us to give exactly the same feature as matched filter 
what are the other matched filters what are the other non matched filters that uh, works like matched filters that means their efficiency is somewhat better compared to uh, somewhat better which is which may be nearer to the matched filter okay so in general in general matched filter matched filter may not be available may not be available always always then what what we need to do then we should go for we should definitely go for non matched filter non matched filter but with good efficiency good efficiency that means bt is equal to 1 if for bt is equal to 1 v into tau bandwidth into pulse width if bt b tau is equal to 1 then we can call it as a matched filter or else the nearest value or else the nearest value then we have to choose such type of filters we can be considered as in the receiver as non matched filters okay see here there are two types of filters here we are going to discuss in this concept one is a rectangular shaped passband filter rectangular shaped passband filter another one is a single tuned rlc resonant passband filter single tuned rlc filter and rectangular filter these are the two filters they are having a better efficiency compared to all other filters okay that, that nothing but their bandwidth into pulse width product is approximately equal to 1 somewhere around 1 not exactly 1 somewhere around 1 so if you draw the characteristics between the frequency bandwidth into tau see bandwidth times pulse width bandwidth times pulse width and efficiency of the filter then see here the, the efficiency is more for these two filters at this particular point they are trying to reach at least one one is somewhere around here so they will be having a efficiency like above 0.8 above 0.8 so if exactly it is a bandwidth into tau is equal to 1 we call it as a matched filter okay as it is not equal to that these are somewhat non non matched filter they are having somewhat better efficiency hope you understand now what is a matched filter and what do you mean by non matched filter now if you see the optimum bandwidth into pulse width and what is the loss in the signal to noise ratio when we are going for such type of non matched filters all these are tabulated here very well so one is a rectangular pulse consider the input signal is a rectangular pulse with rectangular filter this is the filter what we are using in place of matched filter it is a non matched filter non matched filter so rectangular pulse with input as a rectangular filter rectangular pulse is the input and the bandwidth into pulse width is obtained as 1.37 and the loss in the signal to noise ratio compared to the matched filter is very high which is 0.85 so definitely we will not go for such type of filter next rectangular pulse the same rectangular input pulse we are taking with the gaussian filter gaussian filter now the bandwidth times pulse width is given as 0 0.72 and the loss in the signal to noise ratio compared to the matched filter is 0 0.49 this also we will not consider now taking the rectangular filter with input the gaussian pulse again we will be having some other values like 0 0.72 in uh, b into tau and 0 0.49 signal to noise ratio loss this is also will not consider see this gaussian filter with gaussian pulse input gaussian filter with gaussian pulse will put that is having the bandwidth times pulse width as 0 0.44 and signal to noise ratio is 0 so we can consider this as a matched filter because there is no loss in the signal to noise ratio because the, what is the definition of matched filter matched filter is nothing but it is a network which improves the signal to noise ratio so it has improved the signal to noise ratio but that's why loss is zero 
okay so we can consider the gaussian input filter gaussian filter with gaussian input pulse is nothing but a matched filter and see a rectangular pulse inputs with the different uh, uh, cascaded networks like one stage single tuned rlc circuit two stage single tuned rlc circuit and three stage five stage single tuned rlc circuits with uh, different uh, bandwidth into tau 0 0.4 0 0.613 0 0.672 and like this are different values are there okay so among all these we can say that the bandwidth and the tau which is having 0 0.44 can be acting as a matched filter okay after that after that which is having the least bandwidth into pulse bandwidth into pulse width which is having the lesser bandwidth into pulse width after this matched filter that should be the non-matched filter efficiency with more efficiency okay so i will draw here uh, see i will mark in the red color which is nothing but a matched filter This is matched filter. Another thing is, now among all these, we should consider a non-matched filter that should give better efficiency. So that is done by this one stage RLC circuit because it is having less bandwidth times pulse width among all the remaining values. Okay, so this is the non-matched filter we should consider. Okay, if is non-matched filter, non-matched filter with good efficiency or better Bluetooth uh, bandwidth times, better bandwidth times pulse width. Okay, so the maximum efficiency so we can write from the table we can say the maximum <laughs> efficiency of single tuned filter occurs for bandwidth times tau is equal to 0 0.4 the corresponding loss in the signal to noise ratio From the table it is obtained from the corresponding loss in signal to noise ratio is 0 0.88 decibels as compared with the matched filter as compared with the matched filter so in the absence of the matched filter we can go for such type of filters like one stage single tuned rlc circuit with rectangular pulse input okay this is what the concept of non-matched filter with respect to the matched filter thank you